right? But this uh, is a four-stroke engine rather than what uh, most of the two-strokes that I've seen. Right, nine. right. It's a, it's a half a Volkswagen engine, two-cylinder. Basically, we take a four-cylinder VW, cut it in two. We use the front two cylinders. Uh, it's uh, We up the, the displacement on them over the standard 1600. Uh, we make three different size engines. We make a 28, a 32, and a 37 horse. Uh, the only difference between the three engines is the uh, displacement to get the different horsepowers. Now, this engine then is, is uh, are you buying the engines like from scrap yards and stuff like uh, that? Yes, uh, we buy the cases. We use reconditioned cases. We also offer new cases if you want them. But uh, all the internal parts are brand new. We use new cylinders, pistons, heads, cams, etc. Yes, a direct drive system. Uh, how do we uh, oil? Is it a dry sump, wet sump? No, the wet sump, standard VW oiling system. Uh, is it a, a direct drive system or redrive? Uh, it's a direct drive uh, geared oil pump. What about the uh, carburetor? A carburetor, we use a Zenith uh, updraft carburetor. Now, is there any uh, problem? I'm from Canada. Do you have any problem with carb heat? Or, uh, yes, uh, we, had, uh, we took care of the carb ice problem with uh, running the wrapped oil cooler on the back here. We run the oil through wraps around the oil, around the intake manifold. And that takes care of the carb icing. Now what about the ignition system on it? Uh, we run a, st a single magneto. Now what's the all up weight of this thing when you're uh, All up weight uh, with carb pipes minus the prop is 85 pounds. Uh, now would that uh, include a starter or generator? Yeah, no electrics. Just hand prop. Now, what would this engine be suited for then? Uh, ultralights, uh, light ultralights, and light experimentals. Uh, we build Mini Max. Uh, we've got Fisher 202s, uh, Hummelbirds for the experimental category, and now we have our new Ultra Cruiser for that. Uh, we build them for uh, Flying K Sky Raiders. Now, this engine being uh, a four stroke and being a, a Volkswagen uh, base, what kind of hours would you? On it, uh, like, and, uh, uh, the average, person. Uh, average person, if you take care of it, change the oil every 25 hours, do the maintenance on it, you can go 1,500 hours TBO on them. What kind of cost would the person be looking at, and what are some of the major things they have to replace them? Build is very cheap. If you have to TBO the engine, uh, you're looking about $250 in parts. Now, are these parts that they can only buy from you? Or no, are these are off the shelf VW parts. Yes, yes. Wait, 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 we'll you talking about it? Yeah, sure can. Now, this unit, is it a takeoff of the Hummelbird? No, it's totally different at Hummelbird. It's built the same construction as the Hummelbird. Uh, the fuselage is similar to the Hummelbird, except it's been lengthened and lightened. Those people that, are, that don't understand what Hummelbird is or how it goes together, give me some basic background. Uh, the Hummelbird started out as a Watson wind wagon, which was an open cockpit, small airplane. And then Maury Hummel took over for, on this Watson. He used to make conversion plans to convert the Watson into a Hummelbird, which made it an open cock, took the open cockpit and made it into an enclosed cockpit with a canopy. Now, what type of construction is used in it? It's all aluminum. The whole thing's aluminum. Uh, they can use uh, full pop rivets. The only bucked rivets in it are the main spar. The whole thing is made out of 16,000, 6061 T6. Is this something that comes in a kit form, or is it plan builder? Uh, as of right now, it's plans only, and we're going to be offering partial kits, which would be all the form parts, ribs, bulkheads. Of course, we have canopies available now. now what kind of uh, building times would the average person be looking at? Average builder, if you built this from scratch, didn't buy any of our components, just a set of plans, you're looking at about 800 hours. What type of special uh, tools would be required? To uh, just uh, basic uh, metal working hand tools, snips, uh, clecos, a uh, good pair of uh, seaming pliers, uh, a nice small brake would be nice, hand bench brake for bending longer parts. What about the room requirement? Like, uh, can you do it in a one car garage? Yes, one car garage. The biggest panels are the wings, which are about nine feet long, 54 inches wide. You can build it all on a 12 foot by 4 foot table. Now this is built around your little uh, four stroke engine. Are there other engines that are available to be put on? Uh, we're not designed for anything but the two uh, cylinder VW. I'm not saying you couldn't put a small Rotax on it. 
Uh, we limit it to horsepower to 40 horse. Now, what kind of performance would they have as person be getting out of them when they're... Uh, first of all, what field would the car, what would the, the takeoff distance be? Okay. Uh, Takeoff distance, we've got the big engine on here. With This is the only limiting factor not making it a true ultralight is the top speed. Uh, Takeoff distance with this is about 150 feet. Landing distance about 300 feet. What kind of cruise would you get out of it? Uh, cruise uh, with a smaller engine with a 28, that would be a legal ultralight at 63. Uh, stall speed? Stall speed is 25. Uh, fuel uh, burn on it? Fuel burn at cruise is about 1.8 gallons an hour. Um, the average person you feel would have into it dollars and cents wise uh, going from a set of plans on through. Set of plans, scratch built, you can build the airframe minus the engine for about two thousand dollars. Is this something uh, that you feel the average person would be able to take on? Uh, yes, uh, it's a very simple build if somebody hasn't had any sheet metal experience. There isn't any difficult forming in it as far as compound curves where you have to use an English wheel or hand pound them out. Everything is flat sheets. Now, when the plans and the manuals uh, come to work, are they uh, full size? Or... Uh, they're, yes, there's full size rib templates and full size bulkhead templates. Uh, the rest is just flat, they're all CAD drawings with all the dimensions on them for the skins and everything else. If someone got to want to get more information, have you got a name, address, phone number, website? That kind of uh, yes, yeah, you can find out about the uh, the Ultra Cruiser from Hummel Aviation. Uh, that's uh, 509 East Butler Street, Bryan, Ohio, 43515. Uh, phone number is 419 636 3390. If you're interested in the engines, you can contact me at Hummel Engines at uh, 16777 County Road D, Wasion, Ohio, 43567. Our email address is Hummel, or excuse me, H U E N G at Fulton-Net.com. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.